So uh, the carbonation in our beer comes from the natural production. By sterile filtration, you strip the beer of the protein and, and the tannins and the flavor profile. So we are going here with a coarse filtration or sometimes a partial filtration. And we have a two-step filtration system here. One is a, a DE filter. Uh, we separate the yeast out and then we have a ketchup filter, paper filter, who polish the beer. Because of the, the, the shelf life, we have to filter the beer. Heinebrau Kölsch, this is the only product which is unfiltered. It's natural the way how it was. Uh, it's easier. We go from the tank straight out to the bottling line or the canning line, uh, kegging line. But everything else we have to filter. We have to separate the yeast out of the beer. You can see here the, the cut. You cut it with a knife and you see the brown from the yeast and the white from the yeast. So the final step, it's packaging the product. And here there's two ways or three ways behind the brow to package the beer. One time we are kegging out the beer. We're using one six barrel kegs or the half barrel kegs, or this draft beer. The second one, we have a can line, a very small can line, where we fill cans. Can beer, uh, a lot of people don't really like can beer in the micro beer industry. Can beer is similar to draft beer. You have a very nice, uh, shelf life, you have a very good packaging. Uh, cans are so next to draft, my favorite packaging. And then the last one is the bottling. We have here a six spot bottle filler, very small bottle uh, operation. But by bottle filler, you have always a headspace. And the headspace is most time a blend of uh, air, and air reduces your shelf life. So here we have to do something differently. But uh, after the uh, filtration is done, in a, for two, eight hours you want to package the product. Everything is here in the whole process, hand on. Uh, we are put by hand on the bottles, fill the bottles, take off the bottles. And what we're doing differently, the beer has to be packaged by cold temperatures because of the filling the bottles, you try to fill the bottles. On the head pressure, you try to keep the carbonation in the beer to not overforming. So beer get bottled by 35 degrees, 32 to 35 degrees. And so when you bottle the beer, the bottle is wet and you cannot add uh, uh, the label on, so we have to dry the bottles. So we have dry cases here. And dry cases is older cases, but we don't use in the brewing process more. So we dry the bottles for the three to four days to get the water off the bottle and then we label. So we put the by hand the bottles in the case, dry the bottles by the outside environment and then we take it by hand out again, that's why I hand craft it, and put it back by hand on the labeling machine, add the labels on and then we're starting packaging the beer. The way how we're packaging the beer or the producing the beer is by order. Uh, we get the order from our distributor in and so we're packaging by command or by order. Uh, the idea is that everything has to pre-ordered. Uh, to keep the beer very fresh, to have the control on the shelf life. We won't only have the beer that should be sold in six weeks, so the amount that we're producing is uh, for the turnover of six weeks. Uh, when I started the brewery, my idea was uh, making one beer only. This is Heinebrauer Kölsch, producing this only in cans, but I think it's the best package, uh, the greatest shelf life. Today we're brewing beer 10 different styles. After Katrina, uh, the CEO restaurant in New Orleans lost the brewer and asked us to brew the beer for uh, the CEO restaurants. So we're brewing here four different styles of beer in draft and bottles. Uh, later on, John Pesch, who is a chef from New Orleans, was coming to us and asked uh, where we can brew the beer for his restaurant. He has a, a, a French style, a German style, French style, a brasserie in New Orleans uh, and try to keep the old tradition of New Orleans. So we're brewing beer for his restaurant. Uh, and the newest uh, project as we have right now is a Mexican style beer for the restaurant La Carreta. And a lot of people don't know about Mexican style beer. Mexican style beer is really a German style beer. Uh, the first beer brewed in Mexico was by Maximilian IV, 
uh, he was the Empire of uh, uh, Mexico and he had his own German brewmaster who brewed beer for him. So Mexican beer is like our beer, a very similar purity law using only barley, water, hops and yeast. And it's a very unique process. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. Uh, Heinebrau was the last brewery uh, in Louisiana who brewed uh, Dixie beer. And we won the, the uh, after Katrina, the last brewer who brewed Dixie in Louisiana. And I'm very proud about this process because uh, Dixie was the last surviving old brewery in Louisiana. Uh, so this is the basics about the brewing, the packaging. I hope you enjoyed the video here about how you make beer behind a brow and the history of beer. And I hope you'll see you soon in our brewery. We have tours every Saturday from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Have a good day. Bye. Prost.